What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tweak called Lockdown Pro. Now what Lockdown Pro does is, well, a ton of stuff, but most importantly it locks down specific applications so you have to put in a password in order to access it. So let's go into the settings here and I'll show you exactly what all Lockdown Pro can do. So if we scroll down here to the settings, first of all you have to put in your password in order to even access the settings. So if this is the first time that you're doing this, you will enter a passcode, create one, and then create a safe word if you want to do that as well. Alright, so I've entered my password, and now you have all of the options here. So if you want to change your safety word down here, you can do that. And safety word is basically if you forget your password. So if I tap on this, you can say forgot your pass, and you have a safety word that you can type in. Mine is iTweaks. So if I type that... Well, let's try that again. Then it tells you it is correct, and your password is whatever it is. So we'll dismiss it, and then you just put in your password again. All right, so now to get into the good stuff. Right here you have your application. So you can lock applications and folders just by tapping this. It's going to load all the applications that are on your device, and you just tap on an application. Let's say the App Store, and we'll lock the App Store. We'll lock Battery Doctor. We'll lock bit.ly, Bank of America, we'll just lock those for now. And we'll go ahead and lock, uh, let's lock the camera too. So let's go back, and here's where you can view all of the locked applications that you have on your device. So you can go through and look, you ha I have music, camera, calendar, Bank of America, all that stuff that I just set. So we'll go back, and right down here is actually where you can hide some applications. So if you want to hide applications that don't even show up, they won't even show up if you search for them in Spotlight or anything like that. So what I'm going to hide, I believe the calculator is on the first page so I'll do that one and we'll hide uh, we'll hide the clock all right so let's go back right here is where you can actually open up hidden applications so you can't find them on your springboard so you can come into here come into the settings and you can launch them straight from here so even though it's hidden you can actually open up the application Also, every time that you go out of the settings, you are going to have to enter your passcode before getting back in. Here's the kill switch right here, and as we scroll down, there's lock these settings. You can enable it on a phone call, and you have springboard fast lock. So let's go ahead and go into the other settings here, and I'll show you exactly what they have here. You have lock icon placement, means that the application is not going to move from that place. Lock app deletion is actually going to make you enter your password before you can delete an application. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Delay lock here, as you can see right here, it says after you successfully open one locked application, all apps become unlocked until your device is put back to sleep. So you can turn that on if you want to. I'm going to leave it off. And you have hide notifications. So when you have a locked application that receives a notification, the banner will not be shown and it won't appear in the notification center. Down here you have lock all folder apps. So if you have an application within a folder that's locked, then it's going to lock the entire folder, all the applications within that folder. So down here under other options we have the launch button and the no enter button and these are basically or they're a little bit the same. The launch button if you type in your password to open up an application it's going to ask you if you want to launch the application after you type in your password rather than automatically launching it if you have this enabled. Also with the enter button like you saw when I tried to access the settings of Lockdown Pro you have to type in your password and then hit the enter button in order to access it. So if you turn this on then there's not going to be an enter button so once you type in the password it's automatically going to unlock so it's a little less secure but it just really depends on your preference alright so now that we've gone through all of this you can come down here and set custom password so first we'll type in our password here and you can type in specific password so let's do one two three four we'll create that now we can add applications that have that password. So we can just slide up Activator right there. We can slide up the Apple Store right there as well. So all of these down here are all gonna have a password of 111 and all of these up here are gonna have a password of 1234. So let's go ahead and close that. Forgot to save it so let's do it again. 234, create. Oh, okay, so they're down here. So let's go ahead and slide this down here. Activator and Apple. Alright, so now we're going to save that. 
so let's go to one of the applications that have a different password one of them was activator so our password is one two three four one 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 so when I set a custom password it's actually not working it's just crashing the application so maybe in an update this will be fixed alright so let's try to open up battery doctor here so you can see that I have to put in a password and that automatically launches it because I turned off the launch button something else that you can configure here is if you go into the activator let's go to anywhere no let's go to home screen and we'll do double press and you can see that I have Lockdown Pro App. I'll show you what this is. Lockdown App Pro Launcher. So this is going to show you a folder of your hidden applications if you do this activator on the home screen. And you can turn on and off Lockdown Pro if you use an activator as well. So let's go ahead and show you what this does. So remember my hidden applications. One of them was uh, the Compass. Uh, I can't remember what the other ones were, but we're about to find out. If I double press right here, it shows Lockdown Pro Launcher. Go ahead and type in your password and you can see your hidden applications right here and you can launch them straight from that folder if we go back to the springboard and we tap and hold you can see there is another new little lock down there in the bottom right hand corner if you tap that lock then you can see that you can put a password on there and it's locked now so now when I go to open up the application I do have to put in a password in order to access the photos so if I go back put it in wiggle mode turn it off just type in your password and then it's unlocked so if I tap it again it opens right up so there's a lot of features with this tweak and I may have missed one or two but it's a really nice tweak and it keeps all your stuff very secure so if you have somebody trying to rifle through your phone or if somebody finds your phone after you lose it and they're trying to go through your stuff that you really don't want them going through then this is definitely something you need to check out so let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.